Then a robot pours a thick mass of material into the mold. Heat causes the material to expand and turn into foam. The instrument panel begins to take on its shape. Each panel is again inspected with hand and eye. When it's been cut and welded, it's then sent to the assembly division. Here, the panel is prepared for the installation of the heating and air conditioning, the navigation system and the radio, the CD player and the onboard computer. The parts for the instrument panel have arrived from BMW's main plant. Like a giant jigsaw puzzle, they have to fit perfectly into the spaces created for them. With all the measuring and checking, design and engineering, nothing should go wrong. But something happens that no one expected. One of the speakers doesn't fit into the hole created for it. It's a half a millimeter too big. A new smaller speaker will have to be found. Work comes to a halt. The company has promised a new part by the end of the week. Outside, more tests are underway. The motor which puts up the roof has to work silently. It can't produce the slightest unwanted sound. An acoustics expert listens carefully. Out on the special track, the new car is spared nothing. Every one of the pre-series models gets checked here at the factory. Each vehicle undergoes a comprehensive quality program that can take up to 12 days to complete. The tester believes he heard a small, unwanted noise inside the car. He can't tell where it's coming from. Once again, the convertible is put through its paces in the lab. Using a special microphone, the expert tracks down the source of the rattle. It's a barely perceptible sound coming from the glove compartment. But a report is still made to the development department so that they can substitute an improved part. Finally, it's off to the showers. In the specially designed climate chamber, 3,500 liters of water come crashing down on the convertible in just 10 minutes. A tropical storm inside the factory. The car is tipped and tilted. No water should be getting in. The inside of the car remains dry, but engineers notice that there's moisture where the foldable roof gets stored. The rubber ceiling leaks. Another problem that will have to be cleared up. The engineers at the factory are running out of time, and they're still finding things to fix. Mass production will begin shortly. Soon we're going to have a presentation. We've taken one of the pre-series models and tested it as thoroughly as possible so that we can then decide whether it's ready for mass production or not. The decision on when to start building will be made by senior BMW management. They've already picked a date for the hardtop but the convertible could be delayed. What I noticed was the coat of paint. On the side up there toward the front, there are still a few little things. The side seems slightly cloudy, as though the paint hadn't been homogenous enough. Another thing is around the mirror triangle and side wall by the door. I think the gaps could be improved. And then the rubber ceiling on the roof cover. That still isn't 100% tight. We'll have to make it perfect. The whole point of my work is to make sure that it's the customers who return to the dealer, and not the cars. Not only do they have to show the car to BMW management, but the annual auto shows are looming, where BMW wants to unveil the 645 CI. Production like this will have to start soon, or the car won't be ready for people to buy.
From the beauty of the Côte du Jour to the pages of a catalog, BMW's new sports car is ready to be sold around the world. We were on the Côte du Jour, beautiful, elegant. Here, in the context of these speedboats, which once again emphasize the whole idea of power, then here I have the element of sea spray, and then a beautiful still shot where we really show the size. What you see here, that's a normal door. It's like this, and then this car is simply incredible. The sales team is ready, but will the car be finished in time? Finally, the flag has been dropped at one of BMW's largest factories. Mass production of the company's new sports car is underway. Enormous sheets of steel and aluminum are brought in. Each can weigh as much as 35 tons. The sheets are cut and stacked for later use. Enormous presses form the sheets into parts of the car's body. Roofs, side frames, and floor plates begin to appear. This machinery can produce more than 300,000 parts every day. Robots begin adding lighter elements to the new car. Whether welded, bolted, or glued, Nearly 500 individual parts come together to form the skeleton of the car. The robots make over 5,000 welds on each body. Then the basic structure is ready for painting. Painting this car is especially challenging. It's made of steel, aluminum, and plastic. And yet the paint has to look the same, no matter what surface it goes on. First, the car is cleaned, and then rotated through the primer. The car is turned 12 times in various tanks, 12 somersaults that help give every spot an even coating. Putting a first layer on in this way ensures the car has a uniform base. It's also environmentally friendly. Rotation dipping significantly reduces the amount of waste and waste chemicals produced. Once the car is dried and cleaned, it receives a total of four coats of paint and enamel. Elaborate precautions are taken to prevent even a single grain of dust from getting on the car. This area of the factory is as clean as any operating room. There is no particular order in which the cars are produced. This 645 hardtop is going to be black, but the next car could be a completely different color. For the robots, switching colors is no problem at all. It takes 18 hours to finish the painting. What happens next is a bit of scientific magic. Lacquer, to give the car a brilliant shine, is applied as a powder. It's given a charge, like static electricity, to bind it to the car. The car is grounded and attracts the powder like a magnet. Very little powder is wasted. Any powder that doesn't stick to the car is recycled, pumped back, and reused. When it's applied, the lacquer is white. But when heated to 140 degrees centigrade, the powder turns clear. The color underneath shines through. When the body passes the critical eye of a painting specialist, it's sent down to the factory's assembly line. For the first time, the new BMW sports car is rolling through the factory. All the bugs have been worked out. Now, the company holds its breath to see if the public likes it.
It's showtime for the new BMW sports car. For two weeks every September, the International Automobile Show in Frankfurt is the focus of the whole industry. BMW has just published the first official photographs of the new 645 CI. Now the veil has finally been lifted completely. Both a convertible and a hardtop of this model have been designed, but so far just the hardtop is ready for the public. For the first time, thousands of journalists and visitors get a look at the real thing. It draws the public like a magnet. While it is popular, very few will be able to afford it. The new car costs about $100,000. Despite the price, many of these first models are already spoken for. In fact, the cars now rolling off the line at BMW factory are being shipped quickly all over the world. But after all the sophisticated technology used in building the basic car, human workers now become vitally important. The company has received special orders from customers who want to be at the front of the line. These workers make sure each car is finished in exactly the right way. They need about 20 minutes to install all the parts of the instrument panel. In all, more than 20,000 separate pieces.